procrastination. We all do it. It's what keeps us from really accomplishing the big goals in our lives, spiritually, professionally, and personally. Well, I developed a method that I use in my own life I call lion hunting. I found it in Proverbs 22 and in Proverbs 26. King Solomon writes this. The lazy person claims there's a lion on the road. Yes, I'm sure there's a lion out there. As the door swings back and forth on its hinges, so the lazy person turns over in bed. So we need to ask ourselves, if that's how a lazy person thinks, how does a righteous man think? And here's what I came up with. A lazy guy makes excuses, hits the snooze button, and goes back to bed, while the successful guy goes out and hunts lions. So here's my lion hunting method, okay? First, always pray for wisdom. God said he gives freely to all who ask. Second, identify the lion in your path that's holding you back. And here's the thing, it's usually some sort of fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of taking on the workload, fear of failure. Or an example for me, I have this weird phobia about talking on the phone. If something requires me to talk on the phone, I have a tendency to keep putting it off. It's so bad at times my close friends coined the phrase, Rob's gone into hermit mode. <laughs> In these cases, the phone is my lion. I don't even have to know why I'm weird about it. I just have to identify what my lion is. And this brings me to the last step of my hunting lions method. In faith, face the lions head on and overcome it. And guess what? Once you've done this, you've completed the first step towards your goal. The first step isn't working on the task itself, it was working on your faith. So today, don't let any lion stop you from starting or finishing the awesome journey God's placed in front of you. And be encouraged. In Hebrews 11, we're reminded of others who learn to hunt lions through their faith. Listen to verse 32. How much more do I need to say? It would take too long to recount the stories of the faith of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. By faith, these people overthrew kingdoms, ruled with justice, and received what God had promised them. They shut the mouths of lions, quenched the flames of fire, and escaped death from the edge of the sword. Their weakness was turned to strength. They became strong in battle and put whole armies to flight. All these people earned a good reputation because of their faith. Mm -hmm.